Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. The story I'm going to tell you today is primarily directed to the young men listening in. You know, fellas, these days it seems that your standing in the club or gang is gauged by how strongly obnoxious you can be to those senior and junior to you. We didn't have a youth problem in Naughty Pine for many years until a newcomer moved into our midst. His name is Jim Phelps. He had the nickname of Muscles, and he came from Central City to live with his aunt and uncle. Why? Because he was in so much hot water in Central City, his parents thought a change was the best idea to solve the problem. And they were right. Only the solution didn't come as easy as they thought it would. How about calling this story, The Measure of a Man? Hey, man, we sure got this town jumping since you came, Muscles. Uh, what'd I tell you, man? Yeah, we got them so scared they back off the sidewalk when we go by. <laughs> you gotta be tough in this game, boy. You know, real tough. Yeah, Moses, uh, you're right. It's like you say, you gotta be real tough. Yeah, uh, you catch on fast, Spoon. Oh, man. ring a ding a ding 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 Look what's coming. Yeah, uh, you got good eyes, Mick. But not as good as mine. Oh, yeah? Why not? I have, I've had mine on her a long time. Say, there's a real living doll. All right. Eh, she's not for us, though. Yeah? Why not? Eh, it's Henry Scott's girl. Henry <laughs> Scott. You don't say. What am I supposed to do, drop dead? Hey, here she comes. Shh. Would you mind stepping aside so I can pass by, Muscles? Yeah, I mind. Say, when are you and I going to have a date, huh? Never. Yeah? Why not? Isn't that obvious? Ah. Ah, leave her alone, Muss. Leave her alone. Uh, I ain't going to hurt her. Come here. Oh, catch her, Mick. You catch her, Speedo. She's halfway down the block. Kicked off her high heels and cut right out. Pick up her shoes. She'll have to come and get them from me. <laughs> yeah, but what if she brings along Scott and his pal, Bill Jefferson? <laughs> that creep. He don't <laughs> scare me. You gotta be tough, see? Real tough. <laughs> Hey, how'd you make out in the exams, Mus? Ah, uh, no good, Spoon. I ain't got time for that garbage. Yeah. Hey, how are you gonna graduate? I will. Just wait and see. Hey, man. Principal wants to see you. Let him come and see me. I ain't got time to go see him. Oh, man, you better go. All right, all right. Uh, I didn't... Tell you to sit down, muscles. I'm tired. Stand up. All right, all right. What do you want? Muscles, you're not graduating this year. What? Are you deaf? Listen, Connors. You better graduate me or else. Or else what, Mr. Tough Guy? You'll find out. You'll find now, out. Now, don't you threaten me, young man. I've handled tougher punks than you and made men out of them. There ain't nobody tougher than me, see? Nobody. Please, Henry, please. Now don't argue, Mary Lou. I'm going to get your shoes from Muscles. No, no, please. If you ever like me a little bit, I can get another pair. I have lots at home. I don't really need oh, them. Oh, look, he insulted you, and he's going to apologize. No. Please don't argue. My mind's made up. Oh, you stubborn men make me sick. You're going to get your brains beat out over me and a pair of shoes. He tried to insult me, but he didn't get that far. Please, please. Mary Lou, it's a matter of honor. Why, that punk pushes everybody around, but this is one time he isn't going to get away with it. I can take him. Alone, yes, but he won't be alone. 
And you know he's a dirty fighter. Sure. I know that. And I'll bring your shoes over this evening. Harry Lou, what's wrong? Henry's gone to Muscle's house to get my shoes. Alone? Yes. Do something, Bill, please. They'll beat him to a pulp. Come on, we'll jump in the car and get over there. Not the boots, Moss. Don't kick them. Don't kick them. I'll show this Sunny School boy what it means to be tough. You want shoes? You'll get them. Hey, you can't do that to Muscle's. Hey, man, it's a cops. Come on, let's cut out. Let's go. Bill, he's badly hurt. Henry, speak to me. Huh? What for? Open the car door, Mary Lou. I'll help Henry in. We'll get him to the hospital. How do you feel, Henry? Oh, miserable all over. But I, I got the shoes, though. Yes, but I can't wear them. They're wrecked, and so are you. It wasn't worth it. Not at all. Oh, I don't know. I gave a pretty good account of myself. Yes, you did, pal. Muscles is here in the hospital getting his head sewed back together for that judo foot throw you gave him, and the other two look like they'd run into a truck. Mary Lou's right. It wasn't worth it. Huh? What do you mean? Muscles insulted a girl. What's more, she happens to be my best friend. Don't tell me a fella shouldn't fight to defend his girl. I'm sorry you misunderstood, pal. I didn't make myself clear. Street fighting toughs like Muscles, Spoon, and Mickey isn't going to change them. I didn't expect it to. But at least they know I'm not afraid of them. And if well, I could take them on one at a time, they know now they'd get a beating. A beating of their lives. Yeah, and what would that do as far as they're concerned? Huh? What do you mean? They'd only get revenge, Henry. Don't you see that? Uh, I never thought of that. I guess you're right. I could never get one of them alone, anyhow. Well, hero boy, at last you're beginning to see the light of day. Two broken ribs, 19 bad bruises, and a couple of lacerations later. <laughs> Plus a fat <laughs> eye and a thick lip. <laughs> I suppose I look a real mess, huh? I'll say you do. An awful mess. But I still think you're a wonderful guy. Thank you for fighting for me. But please, please don't do it again. Okay, Mary Lou. Hey, Bill, when can I get out of this body and fender shop? <laughs> Anytime you feel you're up to it, pal. Okay, maybe in a couple of hours. For right now, this bed feels so good to me aching bones, as Stumpy would say. Hold it, Connors. Huh? What is this? Grab him, you guys. Help Drag him me. in the bushes. Hey, somebody's coming. Listen, Connors, you better graduate me or else. Here, let's go, you mugs. Let's go. How are you this morning, David? Better judge. Thank you. We're glad to hear that, David. Very glad. I'll say. I still say that you ought to have the judge sign a general complaint warrant and let me pick up those three birds. I'd have plucked their tail feathers before they knew what hit them. Maybe a little working over with a rubber hose would teach them something. Cal, you, you shock me. Does the Pine County Sheriff use rubber hose on prisoners? Uh, you know better than that. I've never used violence on a prisoner in my life. Maybe to take them, but not after I locked them up. But in this case, this punk muscles needs a lesson. A hard one lumped on his head. Gentlemen, please sit down. Gentlemen, the, the solution to the problem at hand is not through the strong arm of the law. I don't know about that. Maybe we've been too soft with a strong arm of the law. Cal, hold your tongue. And let the man have his say. 
Go ahead. You're closest to the problem. I've been a teacher and a principal for many years. I've never run across a tough kid like Muscles that, that is not quite so tough. Well, he's been close to it. I've handled them all without too much difficulty and, well, made good citizens out of them in the long run. Mm, yes, you have, David. I've been circuit judge for many years, and I know of your good work. And Bill's another man who's done more for the young people in this town to... Well, to keep them constructive and, and an asset to the community. What Muscles needs can, can't be administered by the law. He needs to be placed under Bill's supervision by the court. Muscles and his two cronies. Mm. I'm, well, I'm getting too old to handle lads like they are, but, well, Bill can do it. I strongly urge that the judge do so. Mm. <laughs> well, it's worked before. I don't see why it shouldn't work now. What do you say, Bill? Would you accept? Yes, I'd be pleased to accept, Judge. I know you've done a lot of fine work with teenagers, Bill, but I think this time you'll have your hands full. In fact, I think the only place for those three is behind bars and ten hours a day on a rock pile. That'll take the starch out of their ambition. Perhaps, Cal, but it'll also make them bitter and hardened criminals. Well, you have a point there. But some men are born to be criminals. Not in God's sight, they're not born to be criminals. They're born in sin... That's what makes them criminals. They can change if they let Jesus Christ take over their lives. Uh. Bill, pick the lads up and have them in my chambers first thing in the morning. I think talking to them in my chambers will make a little stronger impression than talking to them at home or elsewhere. You're right, Judge White. They've got to realize that the strong arm of the law is aware of their foul behavior. What's with you? There was a big meeting at the hospital in Connor's room. Yeah, so? Hey, man, it was a cops and, and, a, and Judge White. So what? The meeting was about us, oh, man. Us? Yeah. We're in trouble. Hey, man, I'll see. We are. Here comes Johnny Heat Jefferson now. Well, I'm going to blow this joint. You ain't going nowhere. We'll take care of that cop. Hey, man, you and whose army? He's no pushover. There he is. Close your trap. I'll take care of him. I'm tougher than he is. Tougher than anybody. Tell him to come in, Mick. I'll be right behind the door. <clears throat> come in? Hello, boys. Where's Muscles? Uh, he cut out, sir. You sure? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, he's, he's been gone a long, long time. Well, then, uh, let's open the door all the way. <laughs> Come on out from behind the door, Muscles. You dirty cop. You ain't taking me in. Look, look, Mickey. He's out cold. Hey, man. Don't get excited, fellas. I'm here to talk to you, not fight. Muscles will be all right in a few minutes. He isn't hurt. Just had the wind knocked out of him. Now let's sit down and relax until Muscles regains his breath. All right, cop. What do you want? Judge White wants to have a talk with you fellas in the morning. Yeah? What do you want to talk about? I'm sure you know, Mickey. Yeah, I guess so. What, what's he going to do to us? Throw us in a pen? That depends on you fellas. I just want to warn you not to leave town. Yeah? What are we cut out of here? It'll be a simple matter to bring you back, Muscles. Very simple. Big talk. Big talk. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we better listen, huh? All right. We'll be here in the morning. All right, I'll stop by at 9 o'clock to pick you up, all three of them. I think you're wasting your time on those correctors, young feller. Uh, I agree, in a way. Yeah. What's that mean? I think Spoon and Mickey not too bad. The under-influence of muscles. <laughs> Take muscles away and other boys be all right. Nope, I can't agree to that, Grey Wolf. Not this time. This time one bad apple's ruined the others beyond saving. Well, how about the gospel, old-timer? The Lord can change them. Yeah, there's some folks who just won't hear the gospel, sonny, and these three are some of those folks. How are you going to get muscles to listen to the gospel? Uh, tell me that, will you? I don't know. 
Well, it's a lead pipe cinch. An ordinary approach won't work. We're not going to use an ordinary approach this time, pal. Hey, Bill's cooking up something. What is it? <laughs> I'm not through cooking yet, pal. I'm going to Central City to talk to Muzzle's parents. I'll be back late. Okay. Say, who's going to watch the house so they don't leave town? No one. That's uh, one thing they must do. Leave town? Mm hmm. I'll see you in the morning, fellas. <laughs> Henry, Gray Wolf, and Stumpy stood looking after me with a dumbfounded look on their faces. I knew they didn't agree at the moment with what I had in mind, but I had work to do before morning, and there wasn't much time to do it. I hoped that Muscle, Spoon, and Mickey would hightail it out of town pronto and fast. How far do you think we can get before morning, Muscles? Plenty far. Stop worrying and keep walking. Yeah. Hey, man, we ain't got no gun for protection, you know. We don't need guns. Hey, I never thought about that. Hey, what if we run into a mountain lion or a bear? Yeah, man, what if, yeah? Ah, what if? Ah, you guys worry too much. Let's get moving far away. Those dumb rangers ain't never going to find us. Well, here's Bill. Yeah, looks like a reception committee. What's up? You ought to know, young feller. You let them fly the coop. They did, huh? <laughs> it's fine. Bill, have you lost your senses? No, Judge, I haven't. It sure sounds like it. You've pulled off a lot of wild ones, Bill, and I've been in on most of them, and they've worked. But this time you've gone too far, letting young toughs like that roam the country. I agree with the sheriff. Well, uh, take it easy. Let's not get excited. Unless I miss my guess, they're headed for the mountains right now. Well, they could get killed out there, young feller. They won't get far enough to be in the danger zone before we catch up with them. Huh? We're going to trail them? Certainly. We're going to trail them and protect them. Well, I feel differently about this now that you've opened up the secret drawer of your mind. In fact, uh, I think I get a glimmer of what you're up to. Yeah, Judge, so do I. And Bill's going to let those youngsters find out just how tough they really are. That's right, old-timer. Uh, I hope it works, Bill. You haven't changed your mind, have you, Judge? No. But uh, if this doesn't work, I'm afraid I'll have to rule Muscles incorrigible and send him to the penitentiary. I see sign where tough guys begin to tire out. Already? I'm just getting the old muscles warmed up, and we're doing double time. Yeah, sure enough, they're lagging a bit here, Neil, all right. I expected that. Henry, do you think you're up to the double time pace? Sure. I'm fine. I would miss this for the world. You sure? How about your ribs? Well, I... Well, they hurt once in a while. It's worth the pain to see my revenge. Huh? What kind of talk is that for a Christian? If there's any revenge to be taken, we'll let the Lord do that. His wisdom is greater than ours. You know? I'm sorry. I didn't mean real revenge. You know, the hateful kind. But, boy, I do want to see Muscles apologize to Mary Lou. Yeah, so do I. But of his own free will, pal. Well, let's push along now. We can't leave those young fellas unprotected come dusk. Man, I've had it. That's no joke. Hey, man, me too. How about you, big man? Not me. I guess I'm tougher than you guys, huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, and how about getting some wood so we can make a fire, big man? You want me to go out there now, when it's getting dark? <laughs> uh, you're real tough, aren't you? You're just as scared as we are, only you're not a big enough man to admit it. Hey, hey man, I'm hungry and cold and thirsty, too. Anybody got some water? Muscle's supposed to have the canteen. It's empty. Great. No water. What's a big idea? Ah, you drank as much as I did. We'll find some in the morning. Sure, sure, big man. It might be bad water, too, and poisonous. Yeah. How are we supposed to know good water from bad out here? No food. Hey, Mick. 
How many matches you got left? <laughs> None. I might have told you. We're real tough guys, all right. Real tough. We'll probably die out here. And everybody will be real happy about it. No, we ain't gonna die. We can't die. Hey, 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 Spoon. You got him sized up right. He ain't no tough guy. He's a big, fat coward. Ain't you, big man? He sure is. I let him shiver by himself. What a couple of saps we were to let him get us into trouble. Tough guy. Huh. <laughs> hey, there they are. Why no fire? Why no food or water? No nothing. Ah, oh, they in bad way, all right. What are you going to do now, Sonny? We'll go in and make camp. One night out is enough for them, where they're not equipped. I get sick without proper care a second night. Uh, Stumpy. Yep. It's running around under your scalp now, sonny. You stay out here and give them the royal treatment. The royal treatment, you said? That's what I said. <laughs> That's what they'll get. Oh, you fellas have enough to eat now? Yeah, you better believe it, Grey Wolf. <laughs> Boy, well, I feel a lot better since you guys showed up. Yeah, man, me too. I don't know what we'd have done if you hadn't shown. But it's colder out here tonight than it was last night. Sure, you're on higher ground. Well, let's hit the hay, fellas. Yeah, that's for me. Good night. Oh, uh, plenty tired, too. Uh, before we drop off to sleep, uh, let's have devotions. Devotions? What's devotions, Bill? Uh, read from the Bible, pray. Yeah? What's it sound like? Listen, to find out. Open my testament here to John 3. Uh, here we are. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. For God yeah. sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believed on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank thee for the Lord Jesus and for the life that we have in him. We ask that thou wilt keep us throughout this night, give us a good rest, and help us tomorrow to do our work as unto thee. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, fellas, that's what it sounds like. Uh, muscles, you haven't said a word since we got here. <laughs> that's a tough guy. Sure, sure. Real tough. Good night. What are you doing, Grey Wolf? Uh, fire get low and put more wood on. What's that? A cougar. He come close to camp. Shoot it! Shoot it! Not shoot what cannot see. That foolish. I build up fire. He stay away. You go to sleep now. <laughs> Grey Wolf, fire's low. I'll put more wood on. Ah, uh, you do that. What's that? A uh, grizzly bear. Shoot! Shoot it! Uh, you build up fire. He not bother us. I'll get the wood, muscles. Good. How come you haven't slept? How'd you know that? We learn to sleep with one eye and one ear open out here, muscles. The wolf's going to attack. Shoot. Get your rifle and shoot it. I'll build the fire up. That's safer. I can't see the wolf anyhow to shoot it. I got to talk to you, Bill. I got to. Uh, just a minute. Okay, Stumpy. Come on in. Hit the hay. You've earned it. Stumpy? Was he making all those animal sounds? Yeah, sure was, Mr. Tough Guy. Uh, 
And you can stop shaking now, or there ain't a wolf, bear, or cougar within a day's ride from here. Oh, maybe a black bear, but no grizzly. And the tough critters hang out in the tough country. I don't like to be harsh on you, boy, but you asked for it, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Now you want to talk to me? Yeah. You asked me why I didn't say anything before. I was thinking things over, I guess. Mm Mm-hmm. I know you fellas had to double time it after us to catch up, unless you used horses. We walked, sonny, every inch from town. Uh, That takes conditioning. You guys have to be tough to do that, not even breathe hard. I'm not tough. Not really tough the way it counts. Sure, I can beat up old men and guys like Henry when there's three against one and insult ladies. I'm not proud of that, really. I'm not tough at all. Not like you guys. Uh, Muscles, Uh, excuse me, Jim, you've got one chance to prove how tough you are in the right way. The only way. You can prove how much backbone you've got. How can I do that? Make a public apology to those you've offended and hurt in front of Judge White. Oh, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. The question is, do you really want to? Sure I do. I really do, I think. But I, but I could. Do you leave the couldn't part up to me? Now you get some sleep. It's a long walk back to town. There aren't any horses hidden along the trail, you know. <laughs> I'll say there ain't. You'll have to walk the whole distance on the bottom of your own feet, sonny. Yes, sirree. At least your feet will be tough after this hike. <laughs> Jim, I understand from Bill that there is something you wish to say in front of me. Well, I... uh... Oh, relax now, son. This isn't a courtroom trial, you know. You're among friends, believe me. If if you only knew how many friends you have in this chamber right now, you'd be amazed. Yes, sir, I... uh, Jim, um... remember what we talked about walking back to town? Yes, Bill, I do. I, um, I... uh... Dear Lord, Jim needs your help so terribly right now. Please help him. Please, Lord, help Jim. Give him strength. Uh, Mary Lou? Yes, Jim? I want you to accept my apologies for the way I acted. I bought the shoes and all. I accept, Jim. Gladly. Henry? Yes, Jim? I ask you to please accept my apologies for the beating we gave you. I accept it, Jim. And I forgive. Mr. Connors? Yes? I don't know how you can forgive me for beating you and threatening you, but even if you don't, I apologize and ask your forgiveness. I'm really sorry. Jim, it was worth the beating, just to see the change in you. Worth every pain of it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's all I have to say, Your Honor. Spoon and Mickey also apologized for their parts in the whole thing, and they changed for the better. If you're wondering what Jim and I talked about coming back to town, it was the verse where Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Jim did accept the Lord on that return trip. has now become a tough guy for the Lord. Tough in the respect that he's not afraid to stand up for Jesus. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Rangers!